What's up, lovelies? It's Catherine, and I'm going to do my first book talk with my best friend, Liv! Hi, guys. First book talk <laughs> with Kathy <laughs> and Liv, and we're going to be doing it. Oh, <laughs> the one. By Kira Cass. And we, we read it because the first time we read it. We, we read, read it, it in like a day. In so. a day, yeah. yeah. And it's so good, so you <laughs> have to read it. <laughs> um, and also, you have to have read the other books before you read this, so... If you didn't read any of them, then you probably shouldn't watch this. Yeah, but this is, like, my favorite book as of now, mm -hmm. so read the series, The Selection, by Kira Cass. Oh, we're gonna swear things, so yeah. Oh, we're in the cage. <laughs> Non-spoiler people. So, the first scene in this book is when America tries to seduce Maxon, and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> She's like, wait. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> no, that's not what she does. She's like, is my new perfume too strong? And, and then he's he's like, he just starts laughing, and it's so hilarious. <laughs> to hear Maxon's laugh, so whatever it takes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. We... <laughs> um, yeah. So then, she goes to breakfast the next morning, and... <laughs> <laughs> like, and she's so embarrassed, and she's wearing this cute little dress and all, and then... Um, and so the she's just time. like... Well, well, yeah, she, like, purposely told her maid, she's like, I don't want to wear anything fancy, I just want to wear, like, the plainest thing in the world, and then... And she's just like, I will not look at him <laughs> at all. <laughs> and then, of course she looks at him. Just like that one time, you know. <laughs> well, I'll probably, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so, and then she looks at him once, and he's sitting here trying his food, like... <laughs> And he he's looks like, like he's trying not to laugh because he's smirking at her. <laughs> it's a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> that was so random. The the girls are all like, oh my gosh, whatever. And then she walks into this room, and they're all like looking out this window, giggling. And she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and they're like, all these guards are running around shirtless because they're like practicing. They're working out and stuff. And she's like. And she's like, whatever, Maxim looks just as good without his shirt on. <gasps> and she can't tell them, but the king abuses him, and not all that stuff happened, and, you know. And, yeah, okay, so in the air, I mean, not the air, <laughs> wait, the elite, thank you. In the elite, and so they're all like, oh my gosh, what happened? And she's like, well... We've had a we've few. had a few intimate moments, and one of those moments, his shirt came off, and, and they're like, Celeste it like, just blew <laughs> over his head. <laughs> no, Celeste is like, came off, like it just magically flew off of his head. <laughs> but really, it's just Celeste. because he was hurt, and then she was helping him. So really, they know. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. The people watching this know already. <laughs> Her neck was just broke. Sorry, Sophia. <laughs> oh, Sophia's probably gonna watch this anyway. Hi, Sophia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> America apologizes for dressing like she did and everything, and then Maxon says this thing that, oh, I hate it so much. Okay. Please, America, you've said and done so many foolish things, I'm surprised you can even be embarrassed anymore. Okay, that is like, to me, personally offensive, because I'm like just weird, you know. Like we're just like I'm just embarrassing all yeah, the time. Yeah, we're and <laughs> oh, when I'm around people that I like to hang out with, you know, certain people, I get weird and stupid. And so for someone that I was falling in love with to say that to me, I would be like really sad and hurt, you know. Like, yeah, I mean. Okay, so random. One of my favorite Maxim quotes ever is like. Tell her not to worry about the hour. I'll come. <laughs> That's a good one. Because it's like, he wants to apologize to her for like saying that snatched thing. I know. Olivia? 
bathroom. The oh. rain scene. <laughs> it's the best scene in, in the whole book. Well, I mean, it's just like the sweetest scene. Oh, well, well, yeah. It's cute. There's so many good scenes. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing. Do you even end the song? Oh, yeah, because Taylor is. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, It's like so good, and this is why you should read the series, guys. So, yeah. That's why. Okay. So, America's like. Sprat. Shabrat. Shabrat. America's like, Shabrat. Actually, like, have you ever brought anyone else up here? Huh? Olivia. One time, and that's it. I hate my name. I love Max Maxon loves Olivia. Kissed Olivia. One Direction loves Olivia. It's just... You know what I mean here? But. Olivia! (laughs) You know what I mean? Olivia's a pig. (laughs) (laughs) Olivia. (laughs) There's no cap on the pig. That's right! (laughs) I mean, you know, in the future. (laughs) Just kidding, no one heard that. (laughs) No one heard anything. (laughs) We'll cut it out. So the first, okay, so I'm reading this book the second time, right, and it comes upon the scene, the rain scene, I know it's coming up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet, so I'm like tearing up, and then he's like, when he asks her, because he's like, do you, do you want to dance? And then I'm like, yes, <laughs> and you know, yeah. you know the thing when I wrote in your letter? Do you want to, do you think, do you think, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to, do but now we're more. <laughs> more just, than jump. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in. <laughs> okay. I love you. <laughs> we were friends who realized we wanted to be more than friends when <laughs> who realized we couldn't live without each other. Ever. Because we're in love. <laughs> Catherine sobbed a bit. <laughs> By the way, I, I really didn't cry in this book. I, I'm not as, like... Emotional as her. Hashtag 21 Pilots. <laughs> she cries during their songs too. That's because I'm emo. <laughs> Just like them. Emo. Yeah. Emotional. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia! <laughs> what does that mean? I'm so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Do you like dolphins? <laughs> In the rain scene, that's when, in in her thoughts, America actually admits to herself that she loves Maxon, and it's like, crap, man. <laughs> yeah. It took you that long? I mean, save the pain, man. She should have, you know. I mean, maybe not. Maybe she shouldn't have said it then. Like, not, I don't know. Well, honestly, she should have said it then. And then she should have. No, yeah. at that moment, they were telling each other, like, all their secrets, because I like, like I love you, and he was like, dang it, America. <laughs> no. <laughs> they're, they're totally built on trust. Hmm. And so I wish she would just tell him that Aspen was. Well, there. that's kind of like throughout the whole thing. It's just I it's know, like, but boom, like boom, boom, boom. Uh, I can't tell him now, but you can. Yeah. So there's a scene in the book of the convicting, and the king gives her this like guy who has to be put in jail for life, and she can't do it, you know. The guy sounds really sweet, too. He was just trying to take clothes for his daughters. I like that guy. Yeah, I know. Me, too. <laughs> but, <laughs> whatever. And the king gets really, really mad at her, and he takes her and Max and, and I think the queen's there, too, and she, he, he takes them all into this room, and he starts, like, getting really mad. Look at her, son. So there's this scene where all the girls come into America's room then. And it's after. It's after the like, com- yeah. Yeah, convicted and stuff. And then they come in and they're like kind of concerned about her and stuff. Yeah. And it's really cute. And then they all like do this whole kind of. They're, they say they're their like, faults yeah. and stuff. Why and, like, they're not like Queen Amberly. Because Queen Amberly's amazing you know, she's like perfect. the perfect queen yeah yeah and they're all saying how they're not like her and stuff mm-hmm. which is cool and then that's kind of where they all yeah and then like the next day or soon after that they all you know they go and they give each other like makeovers in the women's room yeah and 
I love the part with the queen, like when she's brushing her hair. Oh no no no! And they ask for a camera from. They they write this note. It's hilarious <laughs> note. And they send it to Maxon, and he runs to the door, and he like knocks. He's like, and "What are you Chris doing in there?" Opens and Chris it opens it. And she's, she's like, like thank, "Thank you." And she slams the door in his face. And, and then it says, stop. "She's like falling on the floor laughing." She can't and stop then they laughing. Say it's like this. It's like, "What are you guys doing in there?" <laughs> Sees them. She's like, you're so cute! And then she like grabs her arms around the queen. They all take pictures with the queen and they're all, they heard a giggle in the corner and the queen's like reading a book and she's like... <laughs> and then, yeah, that's the best scene. That's my favorite scene in the movie. Mm -hmm. So, America and Maxine, they fight because... Well, they fight a few times. They fight a lot. <laughs> but that's a good thing, I guess. Sometimes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, if you're Max, Erica, whatever. So, um, but they... Uh, the queen wanted her to do, like, these advertisements, you know? Yeah, and it's like, like do fun. these stupid things where... To stay be, in your case and... Yeah, be happy about good. your case or whatever, like... Yeah. yeah. You are a number. <laughs> <laughs> and she wouldn't do it. And he's like, do it if you love Max. And then he's like, I just... He goes out in the hallway and he's like, I would have called the whole thing off if you just would have said, I love you. And then she was like, oh no. And she was trying to run away from him. You know, and because I I would I wouldn't want to like fight or anything, and so then says this one he goes, I'm not him, America. Oh yeah. I'm not him, and then he's like, I know you spent your whole life pouring yourself into another human being, or whatever, but I'm not him. I won't leave you, and it's like, oh my gosh. Say you love him because you do. <laughs> so yeah. And then there's this really depressing part. So it's like Christmas and... Okay, so the death of her father. <laughs> yeah, I... You kind of just jumped into that. I was yep. trying to be emotional. Really sad thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming up. And I realized, because he was doing this, um, he was like, she, she was like, I'm not going to say I love you first. Or she didn't actually say that, but he was like, I'm not going to say it first. And then he's like, well, I can show you a lot of other things or whatever. And then he's like, being all, you know... A few words that Sophia would use, and me. <laughs> anyway, and then then it, then she finds out, and it's just so sad. And her dad was so cool; like he was such a good dad. That's the scene where she thing. finds out that her dad was a rebel. It totally reminded me of the scene from Tangled, Which one? where she finds out that she's the lost princess, and she's like, "Look yes. at the star." It's me! Yeah, I'm she's the princess! Like, and she's like, she's like, she's like, wait, and she's like going through the things in her mind, like the girl's prints on her jeans, and like the necklaces, and the signs. It's, it, yeah. I just totally like, I don't know. That's really thought of that though. I, I did. Because I'm a fan of Tangled and America. America! Mm. So, Maxine comes in, mm. and there's, I mean, Celeste and Elsie are eliminated or whatever and it was just down to Chris in America and everyone's like I wonder who he's gonna pick I mean that was I was like and then <laughs> you're just standing there she comes into her room and then they do all this stuff and then she's <laughs> and she's like and she's like and she's like you mean I'm it and then he's like of course you are and she's like we're getting married yeah <laughs> And then yeah. she says it for the first time. It's like, Maxon, these, he's like, why do these max marks on my back scare you? And she's like, the marks on your back are there because sometimes I wouldn't, because sometimes it would be for me or whatever. And then she's like, and I love you for them. And he's like, what did you say? And she's like, I swear uh, I wasn't breathing or whatever. And then it's like, uh, I, I love, love you. you. One more well, time, well, please. Just I, one more I love you, Maxon. I will marry you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Part where everything tumbles into the abyss. Uh, abyss. Abyss. Oblivion. A bliss. Um. Yeah. And um. Uh, <laughs> the bliss. Into the abyss. Uh, into the bliss. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so while America was gone, to visiting her house or whatever. Mm. He, Maxon had written her these love letters that kind of remind me of my dear lips. <laughs> or, you know, not love letter, but you know what I mean. Like, like, he just, oh. he, she's like, like, he had written them like three hours apart. And it's like, I know. He's like, I can't live without you. Yeah, it's, it's nice. And then he like ends each one differently. And like, yeah. yeah. This is totally something I would do though. Like, I mean, if I was in that situation. 
you know, like a prince. <laughs> You'll be in that situation if someday. Was, if I was like Prince Maxon. <laughs> ah. Okay, then I think we'll probably. Oh yeah, and then this part I'm just like. So, in the part where everything figures out, you know, Maxon, I was like, like, you know what's going to happen when you read it the second time, and yeah. so, I, I was like, so messed up, <laughs> and, because like, you still are, I know, but, <laughs> but, um, for Maxon's heartbreak, because, that, like, if you think, if you're in Maxon's side, like, that would be really, really devastating. You're like, okay, I'm going to marry you. Oh, wait. It looks like you're with another guy. But, I mean, she wasn't, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> and also, for America's confusion. Or, you know, like, the ability... The, un the unability... Is that the word? I don't... I am... What are you... That she's unable to do anything. Like, he's just like, you're out. And she's just sitting there, like, crying for, like, the whole oh, day. Yeah. And then she has to pull it together. And he's, she can't talk to him because he's not going to listen. You know? He has yeah. to literally almost die. Because, yeah. Poor Max Erica. <laughs> that was <Okay>. funny. <laughs> and then I don't really have anything else, but I just have my favorite scene, and you know it's my favorite scene. He's like, break my heart. Break it a thousand times. If you like. It was only ever yours to break anyway. I'll love you until my very last breath. Every beat of my heart is yours. I don't want to die without you knowing that. That's all. So, <sighs> it was so beautiful. It, it's a good book. It's amazing. It's a great way to end the trilogy. And then... Yeah. Kyle? No. Kyle's the best. <laughs> it's gonna be him, I'm telling you. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we have to sign out because we have to go, and I'm going to go to unicycling, and she's going to go home. Go home. So. Oh, yeah. Brigadoon's amazing, and we should, like, sing a song from it. <laughs> no! <laughs> All of you come, come to Sandy's booth here. here. <laughs> See, I'm so stupid. Come over to Sandy's booth. I'm selling the sweetest candy, candy here, but I never should lose a tooth. I eat myself, and there's no doubt she's creamy and good and thick. So but it's my own, but it's my own, but it's making me kind of sick. <laughs> oh, peace, peace love, love.